not just a superb true crime story, which you know I like, but an insightful investigation of the nature of evil, love that, the fragility of good, love that, and the crooked road that can turn human beings into monsters. That is so up my alley. You know, you know I love those addiction memoirs. I love my memoirs. I never have enough memoirs. There are always more memoirs to be read. Like, I don't even remember what I got. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte, thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm going to do uh, my bargain, my bargain book haul. So as you probably already know, I usually read from the library. I mean, I have a lot of books here to read too, at home in my own personal collection, but I tend to go to the library um, and rent out my books. And part of the reason for that is just that I don't want to own necessarily all books that I've ever read. Sometimes they're just books that I read once and I got what I needed out of them and I just don't ever want to see them again. Um, but then there's other books that I love and that I really want to keep and be able to read at a later date and so those are books that usually I want to buy. Sometimes what I do is I go to Indigo, the local big bookstore, and I'll go into the bargain aisle and see if there are any books there that I would like. And the other day I was perusing the bargain aisle and I always find books that I would like to read. Always. Like, I have such an eclectic range of taste too that like there's just, there's always something I find that I want to read or that I would like to read or that I would like to at least look through. So, um, and this particular day there was also this sale going on where like it was buy three, get the fourth one free. Right, which is basically like you're paying, you're paying for the three most expensive ones and then you get the cheapest one free, right? But this worked for the bargain books too. So I got 12 bargain books. I think it, 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 anyway, whatever it was, it came to less than $50. I know. And so, a lot of books. Here is my bargain book. Oh, all oh, here, I think there's 12. So let's go through them, Ugh. one by one. So first book I got is called Brown by Kamal al Sala. I can't see his last name. Kamal al Salaili, author of the award-winning memoir Intolerable. Now I wish I had Intolerable. Anyway, this one was marked at $5. Hardcover, obviously can't beat that. Um, brown, what being brown in the world today means to everyone. So, there are really good reviews on the back, and I just read the very first little paragraph of the description, which is, brown is not white, brown is not black, brown is an experience, a state of mind, a world hiding in plain sight. Historically speaking, issues of race and skin color have been interpreted along black and white lines, leaving out millions of people whose experiences have shaped our modern world. Um, this is supposed to be really good. It has really good reviews, so I'm excited to read this. Look forward to it. I'm really happy to have found this. In that aisle, there were only, I think there was only that one copy there. Next, I have The Fear of Dying, a novel. See, I'm like, I don't even remember what I got. Fear of Dying by Erica Jong. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of like an entertaining funny comedic novel. Four decades ago, Erica Jong, four decades ago, revolutionized the way we look at love, marriage, and sex. Her worldwide bestseller, Fear of Flying. Oh yeah, my grandparents had that book in their bookshelf, Fear of Flying. Okay, anyway, Fear of Dying is the novel women everywhere have been waiting for. Okay, anyway, I don't know, but I look forward to reading this when I don't really know what to read. It looks like it could be a fun, entertaining, relatable read. We'll see. Got that. Next up, I have The Bright Hour, a memoir of living and dying. And you know that I am a memoir junkie. I love my memoirs. I never have enough memoirs. There are always more memoirs to be read. This is about a terminally ill woman who was 37 who is basically dying so you know I like those uplifting reads too so great memoir look forward to reading it got Michael Lewis's Boomerang who is the author of The Big Short 
and the blind side which is the big short was like really popular it was made into a movie i believe um boomerang travels in the new third world and what i read about it was that it basically goes into all the all the basically the economic bubbles that have been and are going on in developing nations and apparently michael lewis is a very humorous writer um he's funny apparently i've never read him before and apparently it makes you feel kind of like all smug in the beginning and then at the end so at the end you, by the end you think like oh haha ha. but then wait the u.s is the biggest 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 bubble creator of all so it ends with the flops that have happened the economic bubble flops that have happened in the u.s as well so i I'm, i don't know if that makes sense what i just said but that's all i know about this book i'll read it eventually Next, I have Leave Me by Gail Foreman, a novel. It says, can a grown woman, a wife and a mother run away from home? The unexpected answer can be found in this irresistible novel by internationally best-selling author Gail Foreman. So I don't know, but I just kind of like read a few pages and it seemed kind of interesting. So I'm excited to read that. And then I also got Hungry Hearts by Jennifer Weiner, Adventures, Jennifer Weiner? Weiner or Weiner? I don't know. Adventures in Life, Love, and Writing. And this is another memoir. So, you know I love my memoirs. Got another memoir. Don't know her, but I'm gonna get to know her. Here is The Spider and the Fly by Claudia Rowe. The Spider and the Fly, a reporter, a serial killer, and the meeting of murder. Jillian Flynn said, who I like, Jillian Flynn wrote Gone Girl and Sharp Objects and some other ones. Sharp Objects is so, like her novels are so popular that I can't rent them at the library. They're constantly on hold or taken out. I have read Gone Girl and I loved it. But she says, superb, a must read. So, you know, she endorses it. I like what Jillian Flynn Jillian Flynn said, extraordinarily suspenseful and truly gut-wrenching, The Spider and the Fly is not just a superb true crime story, which you know I like, but an insightful investigation of the nature of evil, love that, the fragility of good, love that, and the crooked road that can turn human beings into monsters. That is so up my alley. A must read, she said. So this is probably something... I don't know what it's classified as, but I'm definitely super, 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 super excited to read this. Next, we have a Harlan Coben novel, which I didn't realize this was like a cult following person who writes tons of like murder mystery novels and stuff. I just picked this up and like was like, oh, okay. It had really good reviews on Goodreads and like, and it's supposed to be like a thriller and I was like I love thrillers I should kind of like dip my toes into other authors other than Stephen King right but I didn't realize that this is part of like a whole series so I I, I don't know if I I don't know if this is gonna work like I don't know if I need to know what came before this book or not but I am going to read it. It's it's funny because like the book looks like it's a big thick book. Like it looks like it's big. Like, well not that big, but sort of. Like 400 pages. But the writing is huge. Like, I don't know if you can see. But it's just huge. I'm not sure if that's going to be something I can read just like that without any context. We'll see. Next up we have Sober Stick Figure which is a really cute hardcover book. And this is a memoir of a girl, a woman, who is trying to get sober, which you know, you know I love those addiction memoirs too. Um, and the entire memoir has a lot of drawings, which I thought was really cool and neat too. So I'm really interested in reading her memoir. Look forward to that. Next we have a Milan Kundera novel, which is called The Festival of Insignificance. And I haven't read that much by Milan Kundera. I, right off the bat, the only thing I can think of that I remember of his is um, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, 
which I really, really, really loved, but I read like a long time ago, over a decade ago. This doesn't have the best reviews, but I, because I loved the unbearable lightness of being so much, I'm interested in reading this, especially since it's, it's a quite a short book. It's only 115 pages. So if it's bad, it's not like I'm gonna waste my life reading it, you know? Um, so I will give this one a try. I love the cover too. Next up we have When You Find Out The World Is Against You by Kelly Oxford. And this is another memoir. When You Find Out The World Is Against You and Other Funny Memories About Awful Moments by Kelly Oxford. So this just looks like a really fun memoir. Excited to read this, it should be fun. And then final book is not actually a book, it's just like the bane of my existence, which is always trying to find ways to um, come up with systems to keep the house in order. It's the A Spotless Home. And I just liked that it was just so kind of to the point, like obviously it's not a book that you read from cover to cover necessarily, though you can, but I liked how it was something that I could pick up that could just give me little tips and tricks on how to fix up my house, how to keep it clean, how to keep it organized, how, yeah, because that's not something I really learned growing up and it's a skill that I'm learning and it's important because it helps you be able to live a good life in your home and be happy and at peace and all of that. So those are my books. Those are the bargain books that I got last week. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you've heard about any of these books or if you've read any of them. I would love to hear about your thoughts or comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye.